Tutorial Video 4 – How to Attach a Gripper to the Cobot Hello, this is Video 4 of Omron's Collaborative Robot Tutorial Series. In this video, we will show you how to use the grippers with your Cobot. 1. Ready to use end defectors The Omron TM Cobots are equipped to easily integrate with commonly used end defectors, such as grippers, screwdrivers, and other peripheral equipment, collectively referred to as plug-and-play products. These products are fully listed on our website. By choosing one of the many plug-and-play products, you can immediately start using these devices and save time and effort compared to writing code from scratch. 2. Attaching a Gripper In this video, we will show you how to attach a two-finger adaptive gripper from the TM plug-and-play product line. To add a new gripper, first you will need to format a USB drive in the NTFS format and name it TM Robot all capital letters and no space. Visit our website to download the latest version of the gripper driver. Once the download is complete, unzip the folder. Find the folder called TM export and copy it to the USB's root directory. Then plug the USB into the TM control box. Go to the main menu, System, then Import Export. In the new window, click Import, TM Component, then click OK. Click Component here, then select All Items, then Import. Now your gripper is ready to use. 3. Gripper Nodes Start a new project. Drag in a Gripper Setup Node. The Setup Node is the one with a tiny gear on the icon. Connect it after the Start Node if it didn't automatically connect them. Click the Edit icon on the Setup Node. Click the Initialize or Not button and click Variables. Click on the equation, then a little edit icon shows up. Click it to open another window. In the field, erase the word false and type true. This will make the node initialize the gripper with its settings. Click OK three times. On this screen, you can see the settings that you can set during the gripper initialization. Under release settings, you can set its force, speed, and position. Same thing with the grip settings. Under Comport, you can tell TMflow which COM port the physical cable for the gripper is connected to. In this example, it is connected to COM port 1. Let's drag an open gripper node underneath the OK subnode. Then repeat again with the Close Gripper node. Press the play button on the robot stick and watch the gripper open and close repeatedly. 4. Gripper Button Setting Before we end this video, we will show you how to use the gripper button on the end module. Go to Menu, Setting, and Gripper Button. Click on Using Customized Component. When you click on Grip, it will bring up a list of options. Double check that you are selecting the correct gripper for both grip and release. Try clicking the gripper button on the end module to see it open and close. It might take a few seconds for the gripper to react at the beginning. You will notice that it not only makes the gripper open and close, but it also creates the respective nodes in the flowchart. This concludes video 4 of the Omron TM series tutorials. In video 5, we will show you how to start using the built-in vision system of the cobot.